Sports on Air. Any question will do, guys. As a kind of, with a kind of performance, it's hard to ask you a question about it. <laughs> And long overdue, I guess. Yeah. We, we played really well tonight. A little bit of an understatement, but both offensively and defensively, we, we really played well. Obviously, led by Alan Dorham, who really got us off to a great start in the first half, offensively, and also as far as controlling the boards. Uh, we did a, a really good job in our rebounds today. We talked about it a lot this week, the fact that we are two of the better rebounding teams in the league. And we felt controlling the boards was going to be very, very important for us in this game. But AD came out and did a great job offensively. It was, he was hitting his three-pointers. He was scoring inside. Uh, he just really set the tone for the game. And the, the rest of his teammates followed. Uh, we had a lot of contributions from a lot of players. It was, it was, on our part, really a, a good team game. Um, offensively, defensively, you know, when you play Hinebra, it's so difficult because, one, they're good, they're well coached, and they have the crowd on their side every game. So it's always a challenge to play them, but this was a game we were really looking forward to. We understood the fact that we had to win if we wanted to get to the top four. Uh, if we had lost the game, we probably would end up somewhere in a tie with San Miguel down the line, and you never know what's going to happen with that. So this at least gives us an opportunity to move further up in the standings, and we'll just have to see how the other teams do and continue to play well in our last three games. decision on Von Kento at the beginning of this conference to give him an opportunity to play the three position for us. I actually think he's more of a two, but luckily for me, he is strong enough to play the three position and he's aggressive enough to play the three position. He's a well-rounded player. He can score the basketball, but he rebounds well, he plays good defense, and he's a very, very good assist guy. In other words, he's a good ball mover, which we really need in that first team because a lot of the guys like to score in our first team. But he's been doing a great job for us. I've been calling him the glue guy because that's basically what he's been for us. He's been the guy that doesn't need the basketball to score, but at the same time, he does the little things to help us win. So uh, as long as he continues to play like that, he will continue to get playing time. Um, coach, how satisfied are you with the performance of your team in terms of defense? Well, it's a little bit difficult to gauge our defense this time around because we're trying to score a lot of points as much as possible. We, we want to get up and down the court. We don't want to play half-court basketball. We want to be good at half-court ba basketball, but we want to push the pace as much as we can, which means that you're probably going to end up, I think we're averaging 107 points a game, so that means your defensive averages are also going to be a little bit high because of it. So I really look at the point differential. I mean, how many points are we scoring compared to how many we're giving up? And right now, we're probably about plus 10. So that's pretty good. So if you can stay plus 10 in your games, you're playing pretty good defense. How about facing teams like Miami? Well, the job's only half done. I mean, we went up against San Miguel, who never backed the back. Those were two huge games for us that we really had to win if we wanted to make it to the top four. Now, we cannot take anybody for granted. Anybody can be beaten on any night in this league. So even if we're playing Colombia, we have to really come out and play well if we want to beat them. And then after that, I think we have uh, Raina Shine and Global sorry, Northport. So we still have to continue to play well. I think the goal is not really to think this is the best basketball we're going to play now. The goal is to just continue to get better as we, we can uh, continue to go through the season. 
have two new players who have no idea what we're doing right now. So hopefully this week we can teach them a little bit more about our offense and defense and they'll become a little bit more comfortable. You know, the only thing about getting new players, when they first come in, the adrenaline's up, so they're playing on adrenaline. They're, you know, they're playing to their best of their ability. But after a while, what do they know? Do they know the offense? Do they know the defense? And you don't want the players out there thinking. You want them just to play. And right now with, with um, Malik, Maliksi and Jose, they're thinking because they don't really know what we're doing yet. So hopefully this week we'll, we'll be able to teach them a little bit more. Not that I know of. Um, you never know, though. It's getting close to the deadline, right? We're always looking to try to improve the team if we can. Thank you, guys. Thank you for watching. Click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified with our latest videos.